I mean, when he had the advance going, I didn't see anyone behind him. Sees this person. Lights him up. Knocks him. I was gonna say, I'm like, he should knock him. There is a third party. What the heck? He drop shots. Throws the C4. The dude got off the self res. Are they teaming? Oh. Oh, I think we found a team. I think they're teaming, dude. Did you see that? They're right next to each other. Look at them. They are teaming. There's no way. So the first player we're spectating in this game is Mal. He has three kills already, which is pretty impressive. Looks like he did end up dropping at peak. So this dude might be a little bit of a sweat because peak, a lot of sweats drop at peak to try and pick up some early kills. Plus, I mean, it also has some good loot. And it does seem like this dude is a little bit of a sweat with a 1.83 KD, putting him in the top 3%. And this dude has over 16,000 kills, putting him in the top 0.6%, which is really impressive. Oh, he sees this dude trying to challenge him. He's pretty low on armor. He's going to be pretty careful. Oh, looks like he's going to pick up his loadout, which is super risky in the middle of a gunfight. Yeah, just destroys this dude. I don't think he realized that Mal here picked up his loadout. But it does seem like this dude mainly just plays duos. There's really not that many games where he plays solos. So it should be very interesting. He does have four kills already, so he's not doing too bad. But him picking up his loadout right there was the implementation of the brand new loadout drop change. I did end up mentioning it in yesterday's video, but you can basically just buy a loadout whenever you want. You don't have to wait for the first loadout to drop, the first circle to go by. So as soon as you get 10k, you can buy your own loadout, which is so good. Because that means players like Mal here can just pick up their loadout and just push play super confidently. He knows there's one dude to his left. He seems to be out in the open. Yeah, he sees him. He's crouching. Why is he crouching? He's trying to snipe Mal out of the vehicle. I mean, come on, dude. You literally stand no chance. Yeah. Oh, Mal's getting lit up. Oh my goodness, out of nowhere. Looks like this dude's back on top of Peak. I'm pretty sure he's on like this side of Peak on the other end. Okay, let's see if this dude's still back up here. I actually don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like this dude's back up here. So I have no idea where he went. Oh, he does get a heartbeat. Maybe he dropped down. Oh, he sees him down below. Or at least I see him. Yep. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, cracks him. Lucky the dude runs behind some rocks. Mal's going to full send it. Yeah, he should pick up this kill. Oh, he gets third partied. Oh, some dude ends up eliminating him, stealing Mal's kill. Sprays a love heart. <laughs> you know that when players gesture spray and emo and stuff like that, they are super confident. Like, they just don't care. There is a loadout drop right down here, so Mal could end up picking up the second loadout for his perks. Looks like Mal here might be running into a gunfight trying to third party. Like, you can hear gunshots in the distance, he just doesn't know where from. He's definitely thinking about this loadout. He's playing it super carefully, though. Okay, he does pick it up. Does pick up his perks. Marking Oh, he's getting shot at. I guess all Mal really needs is like a UAV, a bounty or something just to get him to pick up some kills. He does have a ping out here because I'm pretty sure someone got pinged over there. But at the same time, he's trying to find the dude that was shooting at him before. So a bit risky. So he's worried about the dude behind him on top of the mountain. And he's also trying to kind of push these people out here. Someone should be right in front of him. Sees him. I mean... That dude thought he was behind cover, but he actually wasn't. Someone dropped back in. I'm surprised that he's taking these shots with the STG. Okay, I feel like now you have to push. <laughs> you can't just sit up here all day with the STG. Oh, he's getting lit up. I'm pretty sure that's the same dude that shot at him before. He's trying to replay out in the open. You can kind of see him. Ah, he's in such a tough spot. Yeah, dude. Ah, such a tough spot, especially if this dude tries to push. Oh, sees him. I don't know if that's the same dude. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. He was looking behind him and everything. I mean, if that was the same dude, then Mal is safe. But I don't think so, because that dude was looking behind him like someone else was up the mountain. Ends up pinging this buy station, so I got a feeling he probably will end up buying a UAV. I mean, surprisingly, he's up to seven kills already. What the heck? I didn't even realize it coming to the end of the third. I mean, this dude's on a little bit of a heater, which is crazy. And there's 25 people left. Yeah, it does end up popping that UAV. There's 
one dude out here and one dude over here ends up pinging this dude. Actually, I'm pretty sure the ping ended up disappearing. Yeah, so now he ends up trying to go back to this dude, who was the second ping. Ends up picking up a big game. His big game's actually just out in the open, it seems. Yeah, his big game just seems to be out in the open. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, Mal's gonna be careful because he's in a vehicle. He's gonna see him. It just blows him up with C4. <laughs> Now we have Herps, who was the big game. They do have eight kills. Apparently, this should be the most kills in the lobby. He has a 1.49 KD, putting him in the top 7%. And over the last seven days, he went up to a 2.43, which is really impressive. He does have a UAV going. There's actually a lot of pings around him. Don't really know who he's looking to push, if he's going to push anyone at all. Please don't tell me the big game's a camper, dude. He does have a ping over here because that's where someone got pinged on his UAV. So I got a feeling he might be looking to push them. Ends up pinging up his own big game. Oh, and his big game is Mal, dude. Are you kidding me? So Mal won his gulag and came back. Oh, man, this should be interesting. I mean, it looks like he's over these hills or maybe on top of the mountain. He's got this funky looking reticle going on the MP5. Yeah, he should be like just over this hill. He's got to be pretty careful. Maybe he's below him. Sees him. Turns out there's another dude like right next to him as his advance gets popped immediately. There's also like another person right next to him. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he should push me off. Dude, in like the span of like a minute, he picked up three kills. Like what the heck? And he still has the advance going. Just look how many people are already in the circle. Ends up pinging this dude who looks like he's just chilling on top of the mountain waiting for someone to rotate. He saw him proning. I mean, Herpsia has 11 kills, which is so surprising. 15 people left, which is surprisingly a lot more people than we would see at this point in the game. Oh, someone's shooting at him. Looks like they might be from behind him. I mean, when he had the advance going, I didn't see anyone behind him. Sees this person, lights him up. Knocks him. I was gonna say, I'm like, he should knock him. There is a third party, what the heck? He drop shots. Throws the C4, the dude got off the self res. Are they teaming? Oh, oh, I think we found a team. I think they're teaming, dude. Did you see that? They're right next to each other. Look at them. They are teaming. There's no way. But I mean, of course, we've got to go over the stats. We have Slack Monkey. They have four kills. A 0.84 KD, putting them in the top 43%. Looks like they're going to pop an advanced here. They do just that. There's actually like someone next to them. You know, other than his buddy. <laughs> but that's crazy, dude. That's actually insane that they're teaming. I mean, that's nuts. Yeah, he's just out in the open. His shots are awful. So bad. His buddy ends up picking up the kill. Top 10 situation. I mean, what happens when they make it into a 1v1? Because you've got to assume they're going to like 1v1 each other, right? Like what happens in that situation? You've also got to assume that they're in a party just communicating with each other or something. Because I don't think they want to eliminate each other. But that's that's so weird, dude. Like why are you teaming in solos? Like this isn't as bad as hacking, but it's up there, you know? Like it's so blatantly obvious as well. It's not even like he's trying to shoot at him. Like he clearly sees him. Oh my goodness, how does this happen? Like, the odds of this happening and being in the same lobby are, like, so low. I mean, he does get a heartbeat. I'm pretty sure there's dudes in the building up ahead. Oh, he has a riot shield. This might be the counter. Oh, and it's obsidian. Oh, it's over. But then again, it is 2v1, unfortunately. Yep. He's going to push in, try to get him from behind. Yep. His buddy ends up going down, but unfortunately, the riot shield also ends up going down. The Gulag is close, however, so no more teaming. <laughs> this dude really shouldn't win. He has five spectators, dude. He gets a heartbeat right next to him. So many people know that this dude was teaming. A combat bow. I think I see the reason why a lot of people use combat bows, especially with the explosive damage. And if you're running combat scout, whoa, whoa. Where did he get shot from? Did he just get combat bowed or something? Oh, he got rocketed in the face. Oh my goodness, what is this lobby? But now we have this dude. He has five spectators and five kills. He hears someone else around him. Whips out the peeler again. Oh my goodness, the fact that this dude's doing this is nuts. Oh man, he's gonna wait for him. Oh, Semtex. I mean, he knocked the dude with the rocket launcher. He's got to thirst him, right? Yep. I mean, that's crazy, dude. 
somehow this dude makes it into a 1v1v1. I mean, he also has all the spectators from the other dude, which is crazy. I mean, this lobby is just wild. It is so wild, dude. I don't think this dude has any more rockets, which is good. However, I'm pretty sure he's still going to camp. And knowing him, he's definitely going to want to make it into this building next to him. Oh, he's taking it super slow. He pops Deddy just to make the rotation, which is interesting. Surprisingly, he's not going to make it towards the building. He's going to try and go up the mountain. Oh, he's going to bush camp. Yep. Ah, oh, sees this dude. He gets drop shotted. Now it's a 1v1. Now we got all barred up in a 1v1. This dude has seven kills. He has a 1.39 KD, putting him in the top 9%. This is such a slow 1v1. Like we're up to the ninth circle. This dude's not getting any heartbeats and we have no clue where this dude could be coming from. There's no way we're going to make it into a 10th circle, right? Circle number 10. Oh, now he's getting lit up and it's all over for him, dude. He's going to get executed. Never mind, meleeed to death. I mean, what was this lobby, dude? We made it to the 10th circle. We had two players teaming. We had some dude camping with a rocket launcher. Like, what was this? This lobby was so weird. 